How's it going YouTube? This is Wake Run Collapse and today I'm coming back at you with an EX Battle Boost Complete Set video. And some of you might be saying, Wake, you're a moron. Stop being dumb. You've already done this video before. And yes, I have done an EX Battle Boost Complete Set video before. But now I really have a complete set. That means that I've also completed the Reverse Hollow Complete Set. The regular set was completed a long time ago back when I opened the booster boxes in the first place and I think I had to buy the 98 out of 93 or maybe I pulled it in my last box, whatever it was. Um, but I finally was able to fill up and to get the reverse hollow Snivy for about 20 bucks off of Yahoo Japan. I ended up using a middleman service to get it and now I get to show the entirety of the complete set, regular and reverse. So it's a very exciting day for me. This is one of my absolute favorite sets ever. It's extremely difficult to pick a favorite card out of it. They just did such a fantastic job with all the um, all the artworks all the way through. Obviously with the EXs being reprints except for Excadrill and Chandelure, uh, I'd have to go with one of those as being one of my favorite EXs from the set, although historically from some of the other sets I really appreciate the Curum, really like the Dark Rye as well. And as far as artwork for different things, I'm really keen on that Terrakion that's right there. But I'm also really pleased with the Zoroark artwork right there. I really love the Rayquaza and the Garchomp especially. The Garchomp might end up being my favorite card out of the entirety of the set. But there's a Hydreigon right there. Finishing up with some more powerful EX cards. And of course, those fabled golden cards in the Reshiram and the Zekrom, followed by the Imakuni and the three Pokemon Enterprise cards. Now because of the pull ratios for reverse holographic cards, this set took a very, very long time to complete. Most booster boxes from EX Battle Boost only had three or four reverses in them total. And I believe there are 85 reverses that are available in the set. It's a 99 card set. You take out the two golden full arts and the 12 EXs and that leaves 85. So collecting this took a very long time. Now I opened 10 boxes total of EX Battle Boost on my channel. And I got a lot of cards that way, but I had to use tons of different resources to get the remainders. Uh, I purchased a lot off of Paper Moon, which is Poly 100's uh, Japanese singles website. I was able to pick some up from different lots when the SMG Quest was selling them, or if I found individual cards that I needed on eBay. And recently, um, well, not that recently, because I've only had Snivy on my wants list for probably half a year now, uh, fairly recently, I was able to purchase regular hollow lots that I saw had some reverses that I needed inside of them. And that's how I was able to narrow the list down from there. So a lot of cool YouTubers helping me out with um, with completing this set. It is not strictly first edition, but I don't really care about that one way or the other. I believe the SMG Quest has a strictly first edition complete set, which is just absolutely magnificent. It's a testament to the kind of work he puts in. But I am just so happy to be able to have a, uh, a full, full, full set of EX Battle Boost. But this about wraps things up. Guys, let me know in the comment section below what your favorite card is from the set. Let me know what you think of reverses being in a Japanese set, as it doesn't happen often. And as always, I thank you sincerely for taking the time out of your day to watch some of my content. And I hope you're psyched for Emerald Break, because I've got 20 boxes flying over the Pacific as we speak.